The Halo T15 was almost perfect for the price, except the fit. And that's very important, right? No matter how good it is, if it doesn't fit well, then it's a no-go. Enter the Huawei... Huawei? Enter the Huawei T19. It's got everything the T15 has, but fits way better. Unfortunately though, as I've learned time and time again, nothing is perfect. This falls short on one thing that could really be a deal breaker. And I won't keep you waiting, it is the microphone. We're gonna see that tested later. For now, roll the intro. Selamat pagi! Good morning everyone, Kenneth here, and today I'm gonna be reviewing the Huawei T19. The last time I've used one of their product was the Huawei T10C, which was, uh, yeah, I'm not a fan of the sound quality, but the features and especially the perfect controls you got for the price was second to none. Now, if we up that price a little bit, what can we expect? I have to say, we've got something good here. Before starting, as always, I'd appreciate it if you could hit the thumbs up and subscribe. Links are gonna be down in the description below if you wanna check the pricing in your country. And this is provided by Away, but rest assured, as with each and every one of my videos, I'm always giving you my honest opinion. So let's get rolling into the first and the most important thing, the sound quality. To be honest, this has a different sound signature than the Halo T15. It doesn't focus too much on the upper end, so the cymbal crashes, the vocals are toned down, but in exchange, it drives thicker bass, which we are gonna discuss with some of the review songs later. Also, when I'm comparing this to the others, this sound signature reminds me of the Pamu Unique. You can check out the review if you haven't checked it out. I was surprised by how similar this sounds. So, let's put the Awe and Halo through a couple of different genres and see which one is better at which. First up, Enter Sandman by Metallica. If you have seen my Halo T15 review, I said this is great for rock music. So it goes without a question, the Halo T15 wins here. I just like the more present vocals and symbols, but it's also worth noting that it comes down to your preference. More treble may give you more detail, but it will be fatiguing over a long period of time. And I don't hate how Awe sounds here, it's just not what I prefer. The same thing also goes for Hotel California by Eagles. The details are all there, but I just like having the vocals front and focused. It's worth noting though, towards the end of these songs, there are guitar solos, and I think these two both sound great. Next up, Don't Stop Me Now by Queen. Now I know this is still kind of a rock-ish, pop-ish song, doesn't matter. The thing is, I can't say I like the Halo any more than I like the Huawei here. <laughs> the Huawei here. They are both great. Maybe even the Halo's treble is a little bit piercing here, so I kind of sided towards the Huawei more. With a thicker bass, I can enjoy the bass lines which keeps on moving. It is super fun. In a pop song like The Greatest Show, again, these two perform very similarly with Halo focusing more on the highs but not losing out too much at the low end, which says a lot that this is also capable of driving punchy bass. I'll be happy with either of them in this song, but the Awe has the edge here. And finally, it is EDM time. You know where this is going, Awe is hands down gonna be the winner. In Stay By Z, Yes, the Halo T15 is capable of pushing a lot of bass when it needs to, but the Awe feels punchier and it's more meaty, if that's a word in English. I am not discussing about every genre, but I hope you got a picture of how the Awe T19 sounds. And you know currently the Halo T15 is my number two top pick of the year. I mean, the first half of 2020 that is. So telling you to get the Awe instead now, it says a lot about how good the fit is here and how similar you know, the class of the sound is. 
Also, if you don't like too much space, you can make use of the other earbuds that's rounded rectangle shape. Unfortunately, it's only one size, but I don't think it will seal your ear completely, thus it will make the sound a bit more balanced. Now, let's move on to the build quality and fit. And this is where it is a solid upgrade over the Halo. The charging case feels much better in the hand. You know, there are some creaks here and there in the Halo, but nowhere to be seen on the Awe. And the lid looks super cool with this floating hinge. And can you see that LED flashing? That's really nice looking. Also, you got the LED display, so you know exactly how much battery is left inside, and you know whether it's charging into the case or outside of the case. Which talking about that, all the ports are in the front and it is a micro USB for charging in, unfortunately, but a full size USB A is there for you to charge out. So yeah, no USB C yet. The thing is, it does all that while managing to be thinner than the Halo. Just ever so slightly, but still amazing to see. That means you can pocket this perfectly fine, but despite being thin, it still fits great. How does it do that? If we take a closer look at the earbuds design, you can see they really took advantage of every millimeter available from the top to the bottom of the case. And the end result is these earbuds could go deep enough and give a good fit to your ear. And yes, this is a very thin ear tips and it may not look like it, but the seal you get is really good. That's part of the reason why you will get so much bass out of this. And the sculpted design of the earbuds here that helps a lot into, you know, getting a good fit to your ear. I love it. Now, let's talk about the controls. This is where Awe hits home run last year. And this year, they deliver once again. You can see for yourself here, it's just basically perfect. You have volume control on hold gesture. The pattern is small, small than one huge jump. So you can do either small adjustments or huge changes and it can differentiate single tap from hold. So, you know, some earbuds just stop playing if you try to hold it just for one second. And that's because you want that one click increase. You can do that here just fine and you got everything else covered as well. On top of that, the touch sensitivity is amazing. And this shape is kind of, you know, curved inside so you know exactly that you are tapping on the right place. And also, you will know where to hold it if you want to adjust the earbud so you don't do any accidental touches. Awe just gets it. And I can't say not many companies can do it. Okay, let's check out the latency and a call test and we'll discuss the results after that. So yes, it has gaming mode and that result was okay. It's very similar to what the QCY T5 and Halo GT1 Pro and also GT1 and T15 by extension 
can achieve. Now it's not so good as the Air Dots S which seriously shocked me but I think anything below 250 millisecond is bonus. The performance is very much playable and acceptable. The only thing is when you try to communicate with others, some might say you sound muffled. Just like I said in the intro, the microphone for some reason it's pointing outwards and away from your mouth. There is no hole that's pointing to your mouth and it shows in a call test. So let's just have a listen right now. All right everyone, welcome to my call test. Right now you're hearing from my iPhone 10 microphone. Currently I'm about an arm's length away from my phone and we're gonna test out the Huawei T19 and we're gonna compare it a little bit with the Halo T15 later on. So let's check out how quickly this will pair and I'm gonna take both out right now. And connected. So right now we are on the Huawei T19. I think that switched quickly and this turns on right after you open the case. So it's just like the TSO i6. I really love the connectivity here and the dual mode. And we're gonna compare a little bit with the T15. Okay, so what you're hearing is from the Halo T15. What do you think of the sound quality? Did the sound change from the Huawei to the Halo? So this is it, the indoor call test of the Huawei versus the Halo because I feel like they're very similar. We're gonna go outside and check out how it sounds. Okay everyone, firstly we are outdoors. There's a very noisy uh, motorcycle just passed by. So can you hear that? Can you hear my voice clear enough? This is the Huawei G19 and this is how it performs outside. Now let's listen to a short clip of the Halo T15. Okay everyone, currently you are hearing from the Halo T15 and this is what it sounds like outside. Just like before, we have a quite noisy motorcycle just passed by right now. So see how it compares to the Huawei T19. And that's pretty much it for the phone call. We'll go back upstairs and finish the video. So yeah, there you go. It is a shame how this earbuds that could be perfect falls so far behind in the call test. I had to put a closed caption because it'll be so hard for you to listen. And about the title, I'm not clickbaiting you. I tell you what the problem is within the first 10 seconds. And the most important reason why I think this is better than the Halo is just because of the great fit that the Halo could only dream of. But other than that, it's also got great punchy sound perfect controls, great build quality. That's all, unfortunately, at the cost of the microphone quality. So the choice comes back to you. Do you prefer a more vocal focus sound and okay with a shallow fit? If so, then don't bother, just get the Halo T15. But if you're like me, you want a deeper, better fit, better touch controls and don't use the microphone that much, that's a reason enough to get the Huawei T19. Oh yeah, and of course the battery inside is bigger than the T15 despite being smaller. I think they use a flat uh, battery here, which is awesome. I don't, I don't know, it's just really cool to see something this small can act as a power bank and also has a great earbuds inside. So that's pretty much it for the video. I hope the video helped. Don't be afraid to leave a comment down below if you have any questions. You can also ask me on Instagram and Twitter. I usually reply there more often and that's where I'll leave it today. By the way, if you wanna check out the battery testings, I will do that in my Twitter account at testedbyken. And otherwise, thank you so much for watching. That's been it for the video. I'm Kenneth and I will see you in the next one.